Okay, anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of an experiment on Car Jump Arena. Science experiment, if you will. This has actually uh, been a pretty long-running suggestion that I've gotten over the years. Uh, and I've kind of dabbled in it, but I've never like full-on made a video. So that's what we're doing today. Now, if you weren't aware... Uh, Beam and G Drive actually has some pretty unique settings over here in the environment section. We can actually change the gravity at will, magically, to anything we want. But there is some presets here, so what we're going to do is throw uh, this poor, poor Vivas off the car jump arena at various different planetary gravity settings. And there's even a couple that uh, are not planets, per se, but it'll still be fun. So... First off, let's do one run with just normal Earth gravity. I mean, we've seen this a million times on the channel, but why not once more? Uh, <laughs> you know, why not? It's 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 satisfying every time. We might as well do it. So let's just send this thing as far as we can get it, which is pretty darn quick. This is a pretty darn fast car, so past the 300 mark easily. And this thing is just going to absolutely tear itself apart. But I think we might make it to the pool. Yes, we will. We could cool off in the pool. Something is sizzling here. I think it's our engine. But yeah, not bad. So that is normal Earth gravity. But let's spice it up a little bit here. Let's go straight to the moon. There we go. You can see the car kind of lifted up a little bit there because uh, the gravity is like less than half, right? I, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't remember. It's a long time since I've... I knew this stuff, but yeah, we're going to spin the tires quite a bit. But hopefully we can still get up some pretty good speed here. After the tires stop. Stop spinning. They stopped a little bit. We can still get pretty quick, though. I think this should go past the 500 mark easily. At least I hope so. Here we go. 120 miles an hour. Nicely done. And we're going to go well past the 500 mark, I believe. We might actually make it to the sand. Yeah, we're going to make it to, like, the midway of the sand. Oh, and the car still crumpled quite a bit, but not as much. It almost looks like we're in slow motion, but we are not. I guarantee you that. The car is in f pretty good shape, honestly, from, you know, considering we jumped from all the way up there. It's in pretty darn good shape. So that is moon gravity. But uh, let's get a little crazier here, shall we? So let's go. Should we go straight into Mars? I, Mars is not that different from Earth. It's You're a little bit lighter. I think if you weigh like 100 pounds on Mars, you weigh like 80 or 60 or 80 pounds on Mars. I, I'm not really sure. It's something like that. So I'm guessing we'll probably make it to around the 500 mark here. At least that's what I would... Uh, I would think. There we go. Yeah, I can, I can feel a lot closer to the ground, but still not not right. As you can see, we are just flying. Am I going to be right on the money here? Right around the 500 mark? Yes, I am. Oh, my God. That was a really good guess, honestly. Wow. Okay, maybe I should have been a, a scientist instead of a BeamNG YouTuber. Who knows? We're doing important scientific research here. <laughs> and we still... We still made it into the pool. Look at that, man. That's that's a thing of beauty. Okay, so what is next? Actually, I don't remember. Oh, it's the sun. Oh, we, you know, we have to save this for the end. And you guys, you probably know why, but we're going to save it to the end. Let's go to Jupiter. Why the heck not? Oh, you can see the sparks get shot straight down in the, in the car. We are slammed now. Can we even drive? Yeah, we can still drive. It's just the suspension is hurting right now. Oh God, I feel way fat. What the heck is going on? Is, it, is the gravity like pushing me down the ramp? Oh, <laughs> oh God, I'm out of control. I'm out of control. Stop, 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 stop. See, that was kind of weird. It almost looked like I was in a uh, fast motion that time. 
That was super weird, especially going down the hill. Watch how fast I get going here. Just out of nowhere, we're boom! Sonic speed! <laughs> 200 miles an hour, easily. I'm surprised the engine didn't explode at that speed. I guess this is kind of a race car. But once you lose control, you're not gonna get control again. You're just, you're at, at nature's whim on that one. So yeah, that's crazy. That's Jupiter gravity for you. Uh, pretty much just slams you down straight into the ground. I imagine Saturn and Neptune will probably be pretty similar. Neptune's a little bit lighter, but I imagine still pretty heavy. What about Saturn? Saturn and Neptune are pretty, ooh, Saturn's a little bit lighter than that. Oh, I thought uh, Saturn was bigger than Neptune. I know Jupiter's the big one. I, I was always taught that Saturn's like the next biggest. I guess that doesn't necessarily matter as far as like the ground. I mean, it does though, it does. You know, let's go for Jupiter. We'll go Jupiter and then a Sat we'll do a Saturn run. And then Uranus, obviously. All right, so it feels a little lighter if I'm being completely honest, which, which makes sense. So we should go a little farther this time. Can we make it to the 300 mark? Yes, sir. And face plant into the ground. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're wrecking this car quite a bit in this episode. Oh my goodness. There we go. Still made it to the pool though. Still made it to the pool. By the way, I know you guys saw it, but uh, I think it's probably pretty obvious what happens with zero gravity, but let's do that one right now. Only I'm gonna hold off. Let's actually go back to earth gravity for a second. Normal gravity. I'm going to hold off on the zero G's until we actually leave the ramp so we can get the maximum distance here. I'm playing God mode right now, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get it right to the edge here, right there, and then switch it to zero gravity. So we should go pretty darn far here. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> can we slam dunk at the pool? I think we might be going too fast, actually. Oh, uh, where are we landing? Where are we might make Oh wait, we might make it into the other pool though. Come on, swim. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna go past the second pool. Past the road into the fields behind everything. Oh <laughs> and now we bounce up indefinitely. Since there's zero G's, we're just gonna keep going forever. It's the way these things work, guys. We are adrift in space. <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. That's weird. Get back on. Get back to the ground. There we go. Okay, so where were we? We were on uh, the uh, gas giants here. What about Venus? Or your, where's where's Uranus? There it is. We got to do one Uranus r round just to get the jokes out of the way. It feels pretty good though. It feels almost almost like Earth. This is weird. How far am I gonna go? On a regular Earth, I made it to like the 350 mark, right? Something like that. So yeah, we're a little lighter, heavier, maybe. Oh my God. It's almost hard. It's, it felt exactly like earth gravity if I'm being completely honest with you. This is weird. Is, does your Uranus have like Uranus? Sorry. Does Uranus have a uh, pretty similar gravity to earth? I guess so. At least in BMG drive it does. All right. You know, we got to try Pluto. Oh, look at it bounce up. Oh, I don't even, can we even get this thing going? Is it, or the tires are just going to spin indefinitely. Yeah. Yeah. We're tearing up the tires. So hopefully if we can get this thing going downhill, we can control it enough. Maybe it can pick up some speed. Oh my God. Maybe we can pick up some speed here and get a good launch. It's just going to take a while to get to the bottom. But I, I think we are picking up some speed. That speedometer is not right at all, by the way. But yeah, we are getting a little bit of speed here. Oh, I just have to constantly fight the car. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think I've gotten a little bit of speed here. Is it enough? To <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it was enough. I think we're going to make it past the 500 easily. Yep. Yep, we're shooting for the pool still. Any second now, we're gonna be able to drive away from this. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we're coming in pretty hot, but let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. We lost the tire, but now, oh, now we just got an infinite barrel roll. Oh no. We're gonna go into that other pool, aren't we? I think so. Go, 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 go. We gotta swoosh it. Yes. 
<laughs> I think it's the first time I've actually landed in this pool. That's insane. Oh my god. The first uh, dunk in this pool. We're going to float too, aren't we? Yeah, of course we're going to float. We're on Pluto gravity. All right, so we have one more to do. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's impossible to drive down the car jump arena with sun gravity. And I'll show you why. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Just immediately sucked into the ground. We ain't driving anywhere. So the way we're going to have to do this is go back to Earth gravity. Look at it pop up. And we're going to have to drive kind of similar to what we did with uh, zero G's. We're going to have to drive to the end of the, or off the ramp, actually, and then slam on the sun gravity and hope for the best. That's really all we can do. So let's go like this over the hump. Eh, maybe a little farther. Then slam it down with the sun gravity. Are you guys ready? Hopefully this does, does not break my game. That would really suck. Anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that was gnarly. <laughs> Look at it. So it's all let's get it back to Earth Gravity. Oh yeah, it's actually that flat. It's not gonna recover from that. We're this is not the Herbie mod. <laughs> it's on fire as well. Let's get it into the pool. The sun gravity is absolutely lethal. What happened? What did, what did I do? Why did it slingshot like that? Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to get it. Oh, no. We got to rescue it. Get it into the pool, buddy. We're going to get you cooled off. I promise. You just took the, the power of the sun. There we go. That's in the pool, right? Close enough. Close enough. But my goodness, was that fun? That was a fun little experiment, wasn't it? I, I think I had a lot of fun. Did, would you guys like to see a part two on this? Maybe at the ski jumping arena? I think that could be... Uh, pretty darn fun. Maybe we could turn it into like a little mini series on the channel. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know down below by hitting that like button uh, and subscribing if you haven't already. And you know what, guys? I will see you in the next one. See ya.